It's the old cinematic tale of Elvis Presley's life. Elvis was a very talented individual who had a terrible manager who worked him like a dog and worked him to death. I've never heard such a long, sad story. If you watch the Baz Luhrmann movie, you probably believe that Colonel Tom Parker is who killed Elvis Presley. But in truth, there might be another individual who is just as to blame as Colonel Tom Parker. If you think about it, everybody could see that Elvis's health was not in very good shape. You read any of the newspaper articles that were coming out in the late 70s about Elvis, they can tell that Elvis has something wrong. And Colonel Parker took note of that too. He knew that his asset, his boy, was basically dying. He could see that Elvis was not going to be around very long if he kept up this tour schedule. And if you compare Elvis's tour schedule to other artists of the time, maybe who were a little bit younger, some more of the rock and roll groups of the time, uh, Elvis really wasn't working that much. But because of the drugs and the isolation and his lifestyle, the touring was taking a real toll on him. So in 1976, Colonel Parker called Vernon Presley and told him that Elvis needs to take six months off to recuperate and get his health back before they go on tour again. Vernon Presley was always worried about money. He was famous for being a real penny pincher and was always worried about Elvis's spending. That's how the whole meeting with President Nixon happened in the first place, was because Elvis ran away from home after an argument with Priscilla and his father about how much money he was spending during Christmas time. But because of Elvis's insane spending habits and also the failed business venture of having Presley Center racquetball courts, uh, Vernon thought that they needed money. So as Colonel Parker sat there and told him, Elvis needs to take time off or else he is going to die, Vernon told him, if you don't put my boy out on tour, we're going to find somebody else who will. There is nothing that could have scared Colonel Parker more than the possibility that his muse, his boy, his asset was going to die and leave. And once Elvis did die, Colonel Parker had basically everything taken away from him by the courts. So why would Colonel Parker intentionally kill the goose that laid the golden egg? Perhaps there was somebody else to blame. And perhaps that was Elvis himself and Elvis's father for demanding to go out and book more dates.